Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you the multi-day timeline on macOS which we have just released in the latest update. So normally you just see the timeline for the selected day, one timeline for one day in the sidebar. But now you can configure your sidebar. Here at the top right you see this uh, settings button and normally one day is now pre-selected but you can change the day up to seven days and uh, how many days the timeline should show. There are some more options like a fixed week and a list view, but I'll show this in a while. So let's start with three days. So you see the timeline changed. You see now Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days from the selected day, uh, which is also Monday. And you, the advantage now is you can preview the events of the next days. So you can prepare for them accordingly. And of course you can still time block tasks into your timeline as before. You can drag them around, start, uh, change the start and end time. and But what's new is you can use also the other timelines here. For example, task two, if we drag this one to Tuesday, no plan adds a date tag here. This may not be so useful if you're in a daily node, unless you're rescheduling tasks. But if you're in a project node, for example, this could be really useful. Now you can plan your tasks without uh, just typing you can drag them you could drag them in the past also into the calendar but now you can also assign a time to them right away for example let's do this task on Wednesday and it should take an hour and now if you made a mistake you can just take this and drag it to a different day and will also update the day tag every time you change it in the, s in the timeline doesn't matter where you are so you can also go back to the daily note and you can still change it here and if you want to update which days should be displayed while you're inside the project node, you will run into a problem at first because if you click on the day here in the calendar, it will jump to the daily node. But if you want to change the day without jumping to the daily node, you can uh, hit shift on the keyboard and then select the day to change the days here in the timeline. If you forget the uh, shortcut, you can also right click and you see show events, shift click. Another way to create time blocks is also from the references. So for example, uh, let's plan the week. And you notice I clicked on the weekly note here, the, t the sidebar changed to a list view. So you can change the settings here as well. So you see if we have a weekly note selected, we cannot, uh, timeline is selected by default, but you can change it to a fixed week because it's a weekly note. And this node starts uh, because my first day of the week is Monday. It starts also Monday, just like the daily node, which I have selected before. And you can also change the days here, let's say seven days. So that we can plan uh, the week ahead, for example. And then you can plan task one, task two, task three. Maybe you have planned this before on a Sunday. And now you can drag the tasks from your weekly node directly into the various days when you want to do those tasks. For example, and then also shift them around as much as you want. Or let's create one task without uh, assigning it to a specific day and go back to the daily node. And then you will see it here also in the references, just like the other tasks which we have assigned already. And you don't need to jump to back to the weekly note. You can also schedule it directly from here from the references. For example, let's select this day and it will update it in the weekly note. Okay, while you work on the tasks, you might want to change things or unschedule uh, tasks. And But you don't need to jump back to the original note. You can just click on the task or time block here and either complete, cancel, show or unschedule it. Show will let you jump back to the node where it comes from. Complete will, of course, complete it. And if you want to cancel it, because this task is not important anymore, it also disappears from the timeline completely. But it's still here inside the node, of course. And let's say task four, we want to unschedule it. Unschedule means it will just strip off the time and the date. And you can also click on events and create meeting nodes directly from here. Let's say lunch with Jim and we can create a monthly meeting node. So it created the meeting node. Now you also see the node icon here. Let's go to back to today's node or to the daily node. And if you click now on this meeting, you can see the 
meeting node is listed here in the context menu. So you can jump directly from the event to the meeting node and don't have to search no plan for the node. If you click on show, you will see the event details and delete will remove the event completely. And if your event has a conference call link like to Google Meet or to Zoom, it will also show it now in the sidebar, also on iOS. So you can join the meeting directly from the event and you don't need to open it and search for the link or you don't need to open uh, the default calendar app. You can just click here and it will open the meeting. And the other option I wanted to show you here is a timeline fixed week. So we have seen when we open a weekly note, this is pre-selected or you cannot select the normal timeline, only the fixed week one. So what fi fixed week does is it always starts at the day when your week starts. So for me, this is Monday. So if I click on fixed week, f first nothing changes because I already have the first day of the week selected. But if I select Tuesday, it still stays as it is. Uh, if I change it back to the normal timeline, you will see that the timeline moves along with the selected days here. So that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this update and let me know if you have any feedback.